Hi, and welcome back to another Football Shirt Review. Today, we are looking at the leaked Arsenal home shirt for the 23-24 season. This shirt was purchased from Fofoshop3.com. All details for the seller can be found in the description of this video. Now, straight away, I can see that there appears to be some differences to the leaked images that have just been released and that is that on the ones that i've recently seen this is meant to be white um but as i say this is a leak so it could well end up being gold um but the latest images do show it as white i know this is the same as the video that mr pm's footy shirts did um he's had the gold writing there and in all honesty i really liked it on his shirt so when i ordered this one i i was actually hopeful that mine had the gold as well if you are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do these reviews on a weekly basis. You can check out all my other videos that I've uploaded. Um, we're doing a few of the leaked ones. We've got a few retro ones coming up. So yeah, we've got a lot of content um, to be to be shared and there's a lot of content already up on YouTube. So this is from fofoshop3.com. Details for the seller can be found in the description. So what we'll do now is we'll just have one final look at this bag and then we will get the review underway. So standard adidas bag and on the flip side you have your usual health warnings right let's get into it okay as always we start at the top looking at our collar line and we move around a little bit of white stitching showing through there which is a shame don't know if we can get that off with some scissors but I do love the gold accents that are around the collar line. And I think it fits in nicely with the gold Adidas stripes. Moving down, it has got the new Adidas kit manufacturer on there. So it is just the symbol, no Adidas writing over it. Plain, but really effective. Likewise, the Arsenal crest is also in gold. This has been heat pressed on. Moving down to the sponsor. Once again, this is heat pressed on, and actually that feels really nice. It was a little bit of sharp cornering on the edges there, but all in all, that's gone on really well. This is the player spec version, so um, yeah, this is why these have all been, been heat pressed on. On the sleeve, we have the Visit Rwanda, which again has been heat pressed on in gold and looks really nice. It's been put on very well. At the bottom of the shirt, as we move down, we have the Authentic 2023 three emblem and on this side we have the heat ready also there is the gold banding that goes up the side of the shirt and that's on the other side as well with the gold banding at the bottom of this shirt so if we zoom out we'll give you the full overview of the home shirt for the 23 24 season so this is a leaked one but i'm absolutely loving the gold on it so I would hope that this, the one that they go with is the, having the gold right in there and not the white, but we shall see. Okay, we're now on the back, and the gold accents follow around from the front of the collar line to the back of the collar line. Um, it does stop in the middle here, which we've seen on a few of these Adidas shirts now. Obviously, it's a little bit plain on the back here because this is where you'd expect to see your name and your number. Um, but as most of you know, when I buy these leaked shirts, I do not get a name and number. Um, to be fair, I, I don't always go for names and numbers anyway on them, but especially with the leaked ones, because at the end of the season, players leave, name, um, numbers tend to change. So I think it's always safe not to do that. Moving around the shirt, we'll just look at the back line of the white, which I think actually looks really clean on this shirt. With the red and white, for me, is always a winner on the Arsenal shirts. Moving down to the bottom, you can just about see my hand through it. So that shows how lightweight the material is. We've also got this gold banding that goes around the back. And that was obviously made famous on the Manchester United player shirts from, I think it was two years ago. So it's nice to see that it's on this one as well. Looking under the sleeves, their stitching looks absolutely perfect there and again on that side no issues at all obviously you can see all these little holes there it's obviously going to make the shirt material quite breathable so if we zoom out now and i'll give you the full overview of the back before we flip it around and we have a look at the inside of the shirt we're now on the inside of the shirt it's going around the collar line and the stitching looks really tidy around there which is good to see the added stripes been put on really well a little bit of excess cotton at the end there but nothing to worry about at all 
underneath the arm said earlier the stitching looks absolutely perfect so no worries for me on that side and i think this one's just as good as well all looking really tidy the arsenal badge here has been heat pressed on as we said earlier no creases at all so you know that's gone on well likewise with the adidas again no worries there moving down to where we have the sponsor that's been put on lovely cannot feel it at all at the bottom of the shirt we have our usual washing instructions um, as a reminder, it's hand washing only and always have the shirt inside out. I do have a video which shows what happens if you put it in for a normal wash. Um, I definitely recommend you not to do that. The hemline looks really tidy and actually where the gold banding is, that's gone on really well as well. So that's nice to see because sometimes where you get these joins, it's actually a little bit dodgy. But no, that looks nice. So we'll just zoom out, we'll give you the full overview of this side of the inside, and then we'll flip it over and look at the other part of it. Okay, on the final part of the inside of the shirt now, and again, you've got this little pouch, which I really don't know what that's for. Um, we've got our product code up here, with the Adidas on, and there's a QR code. Um, with then moving down, we have our Adidas Size XL. As a reminder, these shirts are always recommended when you buy them to size up, especially when it's a player one. So I would say this is gonna be more like a large. We've got our standard tags here, Arsenal Adidas. And usually it says about reducing plastic, which is probably in there somewhere, which is always the fun part when it comes with a plastic tag on it. Um, not a lot else really to call out on the inside of this shirt. Stitching of it looks absolutely spot on. So well done to fofoshop3.com. Details for the seller can be found in the description of this video. And here is the final look at the inside before we flip it around again and have a look at the outside. So there we have the leaked Arsenal 23-24 home shirt. And as I said throughout the video, I'm absolutely loving this gold writing. So for me, I really hope they do stick with it. But I have seen some um, newer versions of this shirt, which has got the white writing on it. So I guess only time will tell. Um, but all in all, I think this is a fantastic shirt. Um, really, really like looking at this one. And it's a nice one for the collection. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at this shirt with me. Um, and like I said, I have my fingers crossed it does stay gold. But yeah, I doubt it. Um, all details for the seller can be found in the description of this video, fofoshop3.com. And if you've got any questions, comments or messages, you can leave them below. I'll always respond back to you. Also, I'd like to know if there's any shirts you'd like me to look at in the future. The leaked ones are coming out, so I am jumping on that and trying to get as many as I can. So, so yeah, there we have it. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.